Good morning everybody. Um, today, making a video on the famous black mat of doom, or this should be black mat of death, or I don't know, it is, it's very daunting. And I'm bringing this video in 4K. Now, I don't know if you guys can watch 4K, maybe it's HD, click on the top uh, to see if you can. Um, you know, boat if you can, you can normally watch videos in HD or 4K, but this one is in 4K, you can watch in HD. I'm covering the black mat of doom, and everybody that ride it get quite nervous uh, doing so. You can see behind me, that's a black mat. And today it's raining, so it's even wetter than before. And um, I did it once already. I'll put that video in there as well. Um, scared living daylight out of me because it's extremely slippery. Um, but there is a new route which you can climb down. Have wheels, will cycle. As you can see, this mat is um, rubberized, thick rubber, and the gradient is something ridiculous. Um, I can't walk up here, uh, and I just riding down here gave me a heart attack almost. Um, because it's slippery. Normally, it's it's quite peculiar when it's dry, and now it's suicidal when it's wet. But I'll show you guys when I come down here, and also your riding position is very, very, very important when you descend on something that you don't know of. You preferably stand up at your saddle and put your weight right over your back of your saddle, so you push your, your bike forward, so you don't, um, so you don't go endo uh, your head over your head over the handlebars, endos. Um, yeah, so you try to and you can control your bike that way, and also coming down here, you don't rely so much on your front brake per se because you're too much front brake you know what happens um so you can more of more, more of control it with your back brake but not totally block out because then you'll slide out so you'll feather both um actually more your back than your front but as you come down um this area as you can see come down over bridge right into rocks so you have to manage your speed quite quite well Otherwise, you can go off either direction. And when you come into the sand area, you will obviously slide out. So, but the bridge is wood, um, so you can break, break on there if you have to. Um, it is, it, it is a toughie. I have to say it's a toughie, but I'll show you guys how it's done. Okay, see you now. See, locking up my back brake is not a very good thing either because that will just slide out towards where inertia takes you. It takes you to the side of the trail. So you have to plan ahead, look ahead, and, and then, like I said, put your body weight behind the saddle and then um, be much easier to go across because you can, you can steer it from there. Body position is very important regardless of where you are. If you go into the corners, let drop the bike and let the corner take your biker into the corner as well. Instead of being upright, you'll slide out. Uh, center of gravity is very, very important. But like I said, it's not such a. Um, once you've done it a few times, it becomes easier and easier and easier. But after that, it's a no, no brainer. You can just you can do it if you want. But again, if you don't trust it that day, rather take the B route, walk it, be safe. Right another day. Cool guys. And I'll see you guys on another techie trail. See you guys.